Hi guys, Paul and Tess here. Quick thank you from our studio to yours, to David Foster of Geeks Life for your amazing studio tour that you just did, including our PTZ Optics cameras. Yeah, take a look at this video. It's just five minutes long. David Foster takes you backstage, behind the scenes, on his really awesome video studio. So. Coming up next. Hey Paul, Check hey everybody, out. PTZ Optics. David Foster here from Geeks Life, and I just wanted to do a really quick tour. Now, my studio is a complete mess because we just got done doing a, a PC build over here. Um, this is a 4K beast. Uh, I know that uh, you guys said we had about six grand in this based on our list. However, with the two extra capture cards, which uh, we're not exactly sure yet because they're not here uh, if I'm going to keep them, but they were $1,700 each and I got two. So yeah, it could be pushing 10 grand if we end up using those, but I don't know for sure that they're going to work based on more research that I've done. So it's still a work in progress as far as capture cards. It's coming along. So it's going to at least be seven, eight thousand $8,000 by the time it's done. You know, like you were saying, more and more people are building these things at home uh, where if you look at years and years and years ago, it would have cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to have a studio in your home. As you can see in ours, we've got trussing. I mean, we've got the whole nine yards. I got a set back here. As so many people ask me all the time, is this a green screen? No, it is not a green screen. This is a real shield. This is, Ca this is uh, Captain America's shield. I've got it on loan. It is real. It is not a uh, green screen. So there you go. So you guys had asked uh, for a tour of the studio. Even though it's a mess, I'm going to do it anyway because I, I want you guys to see this. All right, so first of all, we've got one of the PTZ box cameras over here. This is going to be my wide shot. I don't have a uh, SDI ran to that yet. We'll be running that this week. But that's going to be my shot looking in this way into the set. And then my main camera is the PTZ Optics 20 times zoom. The white. Thank you, Paul. Love that camera. And then over here for the left side, we've got another PTZ Optics. Okay. The gray one. I should have went with all white. I don't know why I ordered gray. So I do a lot of demos and stuff like that. So for my desk here, I've got one up here pointed straight down. I have the box camera up there. However, with the box camera, I couldn't move it around. And there's sometimes where I need to zoom in and stuff like that uh, and move the camera. So the pan tilt worked a lot better. So I've just got that mounted on a Manfrotto arm with a uh, Veripole here. So the Veripole comes up to the ceiling, locks in, and then I got the Manfrotto arm securely tightened, I might add. And then I got a light above there. And then of course, here is my Audio-Technica microphone. I know it says Rode on there. It's not, it's the, it, it's the, uh, it's the AT897. Awesome, awesome microphone. I love that microphone. And then back here, we've got a Sony uh, PTZ. And then here is the beautiful PC that we just built that you guys showed in all its glory. So much so that we had to put Cap on top because, you know, he deserves to go there. So this is my geeky set. Uh, actually built this um, a couple times now, moved everything around. There's my DL44 if you're a Star Wars fan. Hawkman, Vader, the dude's bowling pin, popcorn machine because you need one of those. And of course back here, we got Slave 1, Lego. Of course Spider-Man's just kind of hanging out back here. He just hangs out. And then we got a TIE Fighter. So this is just a tacked on uh, piece of paper, um, like a backdrop. You'll see it's just tacked on. I've actually got it tacked on with uh, thumbtacks. So if you can believe that or not, thumbtacks. Thumbtacks are holding all of this stuff up because you put thumbtacks in drywall and guess what? They don't leave big holes. And then right now, yes, it is a mess. This is my workstation. Um, I got the monitor tore down because it's over here now to my manage the show. And then this right here, this chair is where I sit to do the show. vMix software to do the show. So this is what I see out there. We've got lights in the, on the bars up there, three lights coming in one overhead and then I do have some lights up here that are usually on makes it a little bit brighter and then of course I got the LED lights all throughout the so ooh, look at that I've got the those lights turned way down so you can see that rolling shutter looks kind of cool uh, and if you're a Harry Potter fan we do cover Harry Potter here too and of course no set would be complete without some Beatles stuff now we do two shows down here we do Geeks Life 
But then we also do a show called Live Streaming Pros, and this is Luria's set where she sits uh, and does that show. So this is the view if you've seen that show. We zoom in. This is pretty much what you see on her show right there. So she's got her comment monitor, and then we'll show you what she sees. All right, this is uh, her setup. And she's using, for her camera, she's got a teleprompter on hers, and the Black Magic, she uses the Black Magic Ultra HD studio camera. So, and then we've got a 35 millimeter fixed lens in there, uh, a Rokinon, which is a really good lens. Uh, we like these cameras. I prefer the PTZs because I like to move stuff around. So, I don't like to be stationary. Who does this in this day and age? So that is the studio walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, thank you PTZ Optics for uh, the cameras. We're loving them. Um, and we've actually got a lot of people asking about them. So you're probably gonna see some orders coming your way. So see you guys later. Thank you so much for everything you do. And we will see you later. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, thank you so much to David Foster of Geeks Life for sharing your space with us. Yes, if you're setting up a studio, they're a great resource to learn from. Also, if you have a studio and you want to send us some behind the scenes footage, we want to show it on our channel. And we're doing a world studio tour where we want to bring you along with studios all around the world. Definitely, David. Hopefully you'll participate in that with us. And thanks again. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to 